guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to film a look that I've been thinking about for a long time. It's been one of those that I have really concentrated on on what I want to do. And it's going to be with glitter, loose glitter, which I've never done on my channel, so it's stepping out of my wheelhouse. I got these uh, shadow shields on holler, H-O-L-L-A-R dot com. And, um... I think that's where I got them. Or I got them on Wish one. Might have, it was Wish. It was Wish. I'm sorry, Wish. I don't remember how much they are, but I'm going to use those instead of tape because they come down further on the eye. And I can go... Yeah, I'm looking at my viewfinder. Now that I know you are in... You're in... In focus. I'll put a little new headband on. It's just so cute. It's got little pearls on it. Little kitty ears. Can't find our dog ears. Anyway, these little things, you can put them basically where you want them. And they've got these little ridges. So you can put it this way. And then you can turn this up and you can get that sharp line that you're wanting. And then it'll catch any fallout on your eyelids down this way. And it's, it's textured. Ooh. It's got a back on it. Sorry, it fell on the floor. Hold on. It's got a back on it that you peel off. It's sticky. So we're going to use that. And we're going to do the eyes first because um, that's just how I've been doing things. I've just been doing it with the eyes. I had makeup on earlier that I done this morning. I had a doctor's appointment in Kingsport I had to go to. Um, nothing's wrong with me. Just a checkup. Um, for you ladies, you know, it's a annual thing. Even though I've had a hysterectomy um, where I have so many issues. Even with having a hysterectomy, with having the polycystic, I still have to do a yearly pelvis. And a yearly, which my regular doctor does the urine, but my gynecologist uh, prefers to get her own sample too. Um, now I've been having some issues with my bladder where if, um, if I don't go to the bathroom as soon as I feel it, there's a mess. I'll just be honest with you. So she's put me on some um, medicine to kind of help strengthen the bladder muscles, what she told me seven years ago, because I had my hysterectomy when I was 32 and I'm 39 now, that the older I got in life, um, with nothing being on top of the bladder, or under the bladder, yeah, under the bladder, with nothing being under the bladder, you know, your uterus and all that stuff's gone now, that my bladder would start falling and I would start having some issues. I could never have issues but then again I could and this has been something that's gradually over the past year because I see her every year it's gradually been getting worse to the point to where um, <laughs> it's embarrassing to the point uh, like as soon as it hits if I don't go straight to the bathroom and get seated somewhere it's just going to happen your urine's just going to flow so um if you all have issues with that, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, we're going to get into this. And I'm going to call this, I really haven't thought of a name for it, but um, to me it's kind of a beachy thing because I've got blues and uh, I'm doing blues and I'm doing uh, glitter with blue and I've got a blue eyeliner. So um, we're just going to get started. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Uh, i got a vision in my head, but you know things change people change world changes so let's go ahead first thing I'm gonna do is get this stuck on you undo the top it's got two pieces of sticky it's got one on the top and then one on the bottom and you necessarily don't have to undo this and stick it to your cheek which I'm not going to I'm just going to stick this part I'm just going to peel the top as it peels in two That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do the bottom. And I am having issues with my allergies. Pollen here is horrible today. Um, of course, when I was in Kingsport, and it was even worse over there. So, Okay, first thing I'm going to do is prime our eyes. And I can't see real good with this. Uh, I don't have regular primer out. Okay. Let me get some regular eye primer. Hold on. Let's do some e.l.f. because I'm using e.l.f. glitter glue. So let's do e.l.f. primer. And it's just clear base. It's silicone. Um, 
looks like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my eyes, my eyelids. And I did have makeup on earlier, and I come home and I took it off, and I was sitting in there, and there's nothing on TV, let's just face it. Everything's kind of coming to an end, and Josh is getting ready to leave and head to work, and I've been meaning to film this forever and a day, and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and go do it. I heard it's a litter. He's going to eat it. If he ain't done, got it. Nope, you know. Smokey's sticking to mommy like glue because I left today and left him. Okay. Now I've got several palettes out here that I'm going to work with. Um, i got a new primer, face primer, and a new foundation. I'm really excited to try. A new lippy stick. Of course, the glitter. Everything else is kind of I've used before. Um, I've got this BH Cosmetics uh, full, if like full, like aluminum full, full eyes excuse me too it's shimmery they're all kind of shimmery and I'm needing these blues down here is what I'm needing so I got that because of that but then I got out the galaxy chick by BH cosmetics and I'm needing just um uh, I really ain't got a hmm I need a um transition shade that ain't got no glitter in it because I'm gonna have a lot of glitter with this at least I think I'm going to those are all glitter let me see what I got here real quick it's just something real handy that's a little bit I can use that this is B Y I B Y beauty it come it's a three trio set uh three's company is what it's called it came in a boxy charm so I'm going to take that on a M441 and I'm just going to take this brown and pop that in the crease and blend that out just for a transition shade. Because I do want to be do blues and browns. Beach is what I'm thinking of. Ocean. Um, at the beach is the type of thing I'm thinking about. This may turn out horrible. This may turn out very, very pretty. I don't know. The sun's coming in pretty bright. I'm sorry, guys. At least I don't have to use lights. See how it's looking on? Yeah, it's not looking bad on the viewfinder. Okay. Now we got the transition in there. Took care of that real quick, didn't we? I gotta get this with a brush because I need it. Ugh. Yep, my 433. I knew I would. I'm gonna go in with the full shadows that I'm gonna hit um, a light blue. And I'm gonna hit it with this uh, Morphe 441. And I'm using this light blue right here. And I'm just gonna go below that transition shade. And this does have some fallout. But I'm gonna go right below it. And kind of blend that in and I'm going to focus more on the outer part of the eye and drag it into the crease I started to change my camera around where I would be sitting in front of a, in front of the window but I didn't do that so let's hope this works this is not a sponsored video of course it's in my description Makeup was bought by me, paid for by me, delivered to me. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a denser brush. This is going to be your Morphe 433. And I'm going to pick up um, this sand color up here. Right here. And I'm going to focus that on the outer of the eyelid. This ain't as pigment as I thought that would be. This is the first time really playing in this eyeshadow palette. And then on the inner of the eyelid. So we're going to leave the middle open. If you get a little bit in the middle, it won't hurt it because we're going to put some... Um, 
glitter there. That's where I'm putting the glitter at. Okay. All right, now let's get the glitter glue. This is Elf's Glitter Primer. And I got a synthetic brush here, but I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna put this on with my finger. And I'm gonna put it right in the center. And you're supposed to let this get a little tacky. Let's see. And this is the first time using glitter on my channel. <laughs> So we'll see how it turns out. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. Don't worry if you get it on the brown. You can always go back and blend in. Which I'm going to have to anyway. Because. Um, you got to. Alright. We're going to go in. And this is J-Cat's uh, glitter. I got it on Amazon. I got a pile of it. And I am going to just use a synthetic uh, e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush and dip down in the little cat eye and get me some little glitter out. And just start packing that on. And so I just poured some out on top of the palette there. This was what I was worried about falling out was the glitter, not so much the eyeshadow. Because, you know, most of the time I just do my eyeshadow and I don't worry about it because I do the foundation but with glitter um I was kind of worried that you know it would fall out and I wouldn't be able to pick it back up I'm going to do the same on the other eye right in the middle that's the heat pump y'all here I had to cut the vent on in this room. It was so hot in here when I got home today. Okay. I'm going to pull a little bit more out on the side over here. And I'm not wiping this on my pants. I've got a little microfiber towel. I always have a microfiber towel laying on my leg. And I always use it to um, clean up any and all products. And this is really fine glitter. It's not chunky at all. I'm trying to get it off my palette here so I can go back in and get that brown. I figure out how to get it in the container. I'll figure out that later. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe uh, 441 and pick up that brown again. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker. I think I'm actually gonna step over on this side of the brown and put that on the outer because I'm looking for like sand. Okay. And I'm just gonna blend that right over top of that brown, all over top of that glitter in the crease and on the outer in the crease. Yes, you hear the dog. He got in an ant hill yesterday. <laughs> and let me tell you what a mess that was trying to get ants off him. It was a mess, but we done it. Didn't we, Bubby? We got it took care of. I'm going to go back in with the 433. And I'm going to pick it blue up that I used before. And I'm going to pull that back into the crease just because I feel like we lost it a little bit. So it's like. We don't have no blue besides the glitter. So I'm going to put some blue back in there. There we go. Okay. Different. Definitely different. Definitely different. I don't know. 
I don't know if I like the blue with the glitter and all that. I'm not used to glitter. I'm going to take just a little bit more of it and add back there just a little bit. Oh, it's on my nose. I got glitter everywhere. I need a nose glitter guard. I think the more I work with it, though, the better I'll get at it. I could probably put it on somebody else with no problem, but with me, who knows? Okay, I'm going to take these off. They do hurt. I'll go ahead and forewarn you. They're not as bad as the, the tape really hurts, but that's painful. Okay, I found this. Casey Holmes was doing a trial run on this. It's from Amazon. And I got 207 in the color. She didn't do the primer. I ordered the primer too. It's an 18 hour primer hold. It's oil free, long lasting effects, hyperallergenic. Um, I don't remember the price of it. I can look it up real quick while I'm on here. And tell you what it was. Because you all will want to know. Or at least I would want to know if I was watching the video. I'd be like, okay, well, how much is that? Um, it's supposed to be able to cover everything. Any kind. It's waterproof. It's got SPF 30, hyperallergenic. It's supposed to cover any kind of marks you have. Uh, redness. Um, birthmarks, tattoos. That sort of thing. Um... I'm trying to find it guys here it is okay the foundation itself has got um it's $18.99 it's how shades much. um i went with the light the the shortest number which was 107 um like i said it's $18.99 it's on prom if you have prom and then the found that or the primer, the primer. If you want the primer, Casey didn't use the primer when she got it. She used a different one, but then she went ahead and ordered the primer. Um, it's actually not available right now. The primer's not. It should be back in to purchase. Um, does it give a date? No, it doesn't. It's for all skin types. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to cover everything. Um, so we're going to give it a whirl. I'm not fooled with it. I was waiting to do this video. So we're going to put a little bit on our finger. It's a cream. It's not silicone base. It's a cream. It's smooth. It feels silicone-y. It doesn't come out silicone. It comes out as a cream. It's got a good smell to it. I need a little bit more from my forehead. Um, it's got a good smell to it. It doesn't have a chemical smell. So, <clears throat> and it's Derma, Dermaco, D-E-R-M-A-C-O-L, Dermaco. And that's the same thing with the foundation. The foundation, I did get the foundation out and look at it. It is in a metal tube. Um, it's made in EU, so I think that is Europe. EU, Europe. So, and I did test the, I did open it because it had a thing on it and you had to poke a hole in it. But I tested just to make sure that the shade would work. So if it didn't, I could order a different shade. And I think the shade will be fine on me. Um. She used the sponge to do hers. I'm going to use a brush. Just because I just... I, I like the brush. I'm going to use the Morphe um, M4390. Y'all know that's my ride or die brush. I'm just going to put some swatches on my face here. It does have a little bit of a smell to it. Um, it's not a chemical smell. It's a little bit of a floral smell. She did a wear test on it. I'll link her down below. 
I didn't wear for a long time. Um, it was a very pretty, I mean, it smooths out. It's a beautiful foundation. It would be good for, um, with it being waterproof, if, you know, you did your makeup to go to the pool, I don't know who would do that. If you weren't getting in the pool and you just laying on the side, then yeah, but, um, it's got your sunscreen in it, so you're going to get flashbacks. Just remember that if you do pictures. You need to worry about that. That's something you got to think about. Sunscreen with, with, the. Uh, I mean, a uh, foundation with sunscreen and it has flashbacks with the cameras. And it does cover pretty well. It's covered all my little areas. It does kind of ball up on you, though. I'm noticing that it's balling up on me in certain areas. Well, especially where I had that. I bet that's the glue. And that shield. I may not use them shields. I may use my tape because my tape didn't do that. That's where I was noticing that out. It does feel kind of oily texture wise. I'm going to go ahead and prime it down with the powder and see how that does. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use Stay Matte Rimmel this is in creamy natural. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to run it all over my face. I am one new concealer, but I want to see if it's a mattified I am. I like that it covers everything, but I don't like that I feel like I got cake face. Because right now I feel like I got cake face. Of course, it could just be where I'm aggravated about that tape. <laughs> it's on both sides. It's right where that shield was laying. So it's not bubbled up nowhere else, or done nowhere else that way. Just right where I had that shield at. Okay. Let's go ahead and conceal. I'm going to use the um, Maybelline Age Rewind for dark circles. Because even though I did my makeup earlier today and I've been awake for a while, I've still got some dark circles going on. And I am using... Or am I using? I'm using light, which I think is the lightest they got. I don't think they got fair. If they have fair, I'll get it next time because I'm getting low on this. And then I'm going to use my uh, Morphe 439 and pat it in. Just going to back it in with you. Oh, I'm ready for the blueberries to bloom, or blackberries to bloom completely out. My house is surrounded by them, and we're going to have a bunch if the birds don't eat them. But I tell you what, they are budded out, and they're budded out so bad that it's killing my sinuses. I mean, absolutely killing my sinuses. Okay, now to set this, I'm going to use the Lori Mercier. Well, I'm going to take a sifter out. Nothing's going right for this video. Well, I guess I'll just dump some out in the lid because I'm not fighting with it. And we'll 
Cut Me a Damp Beauty Blender, which is not a beauty blender, it's a dupe. And I didn't wet it, so I'm just going to take a water bottle. I always have a water bottle on hand, it's just regular water. And just wet the end, the butt as I call it. And we're going to bake this eye. And down the nose. I need to get some more powder out. Any other time I wouldn't want that sifter out, it would come out for me. And of course, I dropped my sponge. I, like I said, nothing's going right. Now the light's going away. Oh, these are the days of my life. First world problems. So everywhere you concealed, if you want to bake, you're going to bake. Is basically it. And while we are baking, as I throw the sponge in the floor again. And if I don't get it, the dog says that he will get it, even though he's in my chair right now. So I grocery shopped while I was out. That was fun. Guys, I'm telling you, I'd rather take a bait and go to the grocery store. I hate it. I despise it. We go twice a week, or once every two weeks here. And then just odd end things we have to pick up, we'll pick up. But I'd rather take a bait and go to the store. Uh, oh, I was going to do my eyebrows. That's what I was going to do. I was like, what am I doing? I didn't get no eyebrow products out. I'm just going to do Benefit, um, Give Me Brow, and some clear. Uh, give Me Brow, I'm in three. Which I could probably go down to two, honestly, where I've went lighter on my hair this time. I don't have as dark. I'm, when I had it done, we... We went a little shade lighter just because of the summer. I like to do that. And I'm going to take the Brow Gal Clear. And come through that. And shake them bad boys. And you're supposed to have matching eyebrows, sisters, not twins. Just remember that. Forgot who said that. I think it was Patrick Star who said that. Okay. Back to the eyes. We are going to take this blue eyeliner. It's called My, M-Y. And it's waterproof. And it's in blue. And I mean blue. It come from Amazon also. I'm going to put it on a waterline. When you pull down to do your waterline, don't pull hard, guys. It will cause um, wrinkling later in life. It will cause blood vessels to burst. Some people, it could cause you to bruise. And you don't want that. At all. At least I don't want that for you. Okay, we've baked long enough. I'm going to take this off. And we're going to bronze this face up. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Cocoa Couture palette. And I don't use the brush, but I think the brush is adorable. Just a little contour brush, round kabuki. But I am going to use the uh, Legsy, Legsy, Legsy uh, 512. It's a small sculpting brush. And I'm going to do medium cocoa and light cocoa the two I'm going to do the bronze. We're just going to start bronzing it up the face on the forehead. And 
And then I'm going to do the same down here. I'm going to take the medium cocoa and the light cocoa and do some contour. So I'll the ear and go down to the hollows of your cheeks. For highlight, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild um, Boozy Bunch. Boozy Bunt Brunch. I can't ever get this open. These are I, these are so hard to open, but they're so beautiful. I'm going to take a Real Technique Sculpting Brush. And I'm going to hit those cheekbones and up the side. Make a little bit of an L right here. Come down the nose and hit the tip of the nose. And hit that cupid's bow under the chin just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my pencil brush. I can find my pencil brush. Find a pencil brush. I'm going to use the E36. I'm going to dip in this. It's just a pencil brush. And I'm going to go across the eyebrow on the bottom underneath. Give it just a little bit of a glow there. And then hit it right in the corner. Do the same on this eye. And then right in the corner. Okay. I'm going to hit some blush. Did I not get no blush on I bet I put it up today when I did my makeup. I did. I told you how this, this is just not meant to be. Nope, it's not the one I want. I want the bomb. Cabana Boy. This is your pretty color. I'm going to do this on a Morphe uh, M141. And I'm going to hit it right between the contour and the highlight. Apple the cheeks and then back. Okay. I'm going to set my face and then I'm going to do mascara. So I'm going to set it with the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. Just to lay the powder down so it doesn't feel so bad. I don't have my um, mascara out. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. We're going to pump these black eyelashes up. This look you can easily do falsies. I did have floss faulties out today but I put them back up so I'm not even gonna try them. Now I'm going to go back over the top ones and build them up. And bottom in on top. Okay. 
Now that we got that, lipstick is going to be Melted Metal by Too Faced, and it is in the color. Well, I don't speak French. <laughs> um, I threw the box away. Rogue Elle. I don't know. It's metal, melted metal debut. D E B U T A N T E. It's a really pretty color. It comes out on a little sponge. You squeeze it and come out. I think we need something else. Let's do a little bit of melted peony. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more pink. There we go. And with that, that is my glitter look. I don't know how well I did. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed doing it. It's something different. It's way out of my wheelhouse. I'll tell you right now, I don't like the foundation. I'm not a fan of the foundation. I did leave what I put on my hand to do my face. I left it on there. I did not wipe it off. It is very, very thick. I'm going to get a wipe here. And see, so, I mean, it's it's very tacky. Um, my face feels very heavy, like I can tell I'm wearing the foundation. Um, for me, I like a foundation that you, it covers everything. It's full coverage, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel like you've got foundation on. And uh, I look... I could probably work a little bit better with some colors. I've got all colors. And um, get some things done a little bit better. Like I said, when I started this video, this is a this was trial and error. Like I said, when I started my channel, this is trial and error. This is just me learning, playing, goofing off, having a good time. It's a hobby. I enjoy it. As I said before, this video is not sponsored by nobody. But myself and my husband, um, you know, um, life updates where you want to go and watch if you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about. Um, just to clear up the lies, I think is what it's called. Um, I got a video up for tomorrow. It is the house tour, which is the 16th of May. This will go up sometime May or um, June. And I'll probably first part of June because I'm scheduling my videos. So, day or night review, be safe, be careful. As always, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with me. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.